Alex, you are my best friend. Dustin, you're my best friend. Pickles. Go, <laughs> oh, Paul, sweetie, what have you done? You're gonna lose your job as a substitute teacher for this. Uh, no. Is that you, Alex? It's me, buddy. I'm right here for you. No, oh, I'm not okay. You're gonna make it. You'll be fine. Everything hurts from my bones to my to my skin. Oh, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> We're gonna get you some help. We're gonna get home, all right? Oh, friends, I, I think it's too late. But before I go, there's three things I need to tell you. Absolutely. What is it? Just let me know. First off, can you can you get my mail? I don't want the neighbors to steal it. Okay. I'll get your mail. <laughs> Secondly, I just put a bunch of meat in the fridge. But <laughs> please put it in the freezer. We're not gonna waste any meat, all right, buddy? <laughs> Thanks. The third thing, I never got to see. Shrek the third. Oh, I, I don't recommend it. <sighs> Dustin. <coughs> Dustin. <coughs> Dustin. Are you dead? Yep, he's definitely dead. Why are you still here? <laughs> Dustin was a fine young lad, buried now beneath his favorite tree. A mere 15 feet from where his life was so tragically taken. Oh, what a grape. And of course, now join us for the complimentary salad bar after the service. Well, hey there, Honcho. What's going on? You're dead. Well, I'm a ghost, and only you can see me. That's insane. Isn't it, though? Well, I bet we're gonna have the best day ever. All right, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Pickles. Dustin, I think I'm dying. It's okay. You already did. We're both ghosts now. Oh, that is so awesome. Yes. Alex, you're my best friend. Dustin, you're my best friend. I can't fall in love. Never works out in